Hey everybody, this is Whitebone Knives. Um, today we're going to show you how to put a knife bevel on one of your blade blanks. Uh, here's what we're going to start off with. It's just a piece of stock, piece of bar stock, eighth of an inch thick. Um, and it's going to be turned into this. So, see the nice bevel on there? Just a full flat grind. And it's not that hard to do. So, here we go. You're going to need a 2 inch belt grinder for this. Uh, I made my own because I just didn't feel like going out and buying, you know, spending $2,000 for a knife grinder. So I made one for about $400. Um, but here we go. Uh, I also made a jig of my own just out of angle iron. And this is how I cut my bevels in. Um, there's just a set screw right here that's been tapped in, or drilled and tapped, and then I can adjust the level of the bevel that I want, right here. So I can pull that up and go as far down as I want. Which, I'd never have to go that far anyways, but... I'm probably going to be looking at a level just a hair where it's barely in there and that'll give me a nice full flat grind right there. So we're going to tighten that, tighten this nut down. You can see here, there we go. Tighten that down right there. Okay, so once that's tight you want to go. You're gonna want to go ahead and look at your your blank, your knife blank. And uh, before we even start grinding, you're gonna need a permanent marker, just so you can see that edge. It's all shiny right now. We gotta blacken that up so we can see the the bevel mark or the line of center. So we're just going to mark this up with a black sharpie. Right here. Make sure you get all the areas coated in black. See, so it should look like this now. Okay. And then we're going to take an eighth of an inch drill bit right here and mark along the side of it We're starting from the tip all the way down to here so to do this you're going to need a good flat surface I use my tool rest it's really flat and then you're just going to want to take that drill bit and go right along the edge I'm sure you have a pretty nice line that you can see when you're grinding that's your only point of reference so you can see it that line across there all the way down that's going to be the absolute center that we need to grind to and um, I usually like to grind these about to the thickness of a dime so you're going to take material off this side and this side until it's the thickness of a dime so we're going to start with the first side right now don't forget to wear your respiratory protection. This is very important. And uh, hearing protection is not that loud, but definitely wear some safety glasses because a lot of that grit and stuff will go back up in your face. If you don't, and that's never good. i to put this in the jig first. That's what we're going to do. Put it right in here. By the way, I'll show you how to make one of these jigs later on in another video. But we're just going to take a C-clamp, make sure it's all flat to the ground, and just crank it in there. So as you can see, it's in the jig, it's flat with the top, and we can check by making sure no point is sticking out the bottom. So it's in there with the C-clamp. Now it should be able to glide across here nice and smooth. Alrighty, we're going to crank up the grinder and do the first side of the bill.
So it should look something like this in your first couple passes. And then you're going to want to dip it in water so it kind of cools down. Just wipe the excess off and then go again. Let's see how it's getting. Taking more and more off there. Now see if I wanted to do like a Scandi grind or Saber grind, we could stop right there and start going to the polishing belts and be on our way, but we want to do a full flat grind. So we want to just take this bevel and move it all the way up to the top. So we're just going to keep going. Alright, now that we're at this stage, you can see it's almost to the top. So we're just going to switch out the belts and go to a lighter grit. And from a 36, I'm going to go straight to 100. So then we're going to go and turn the grinder on. Alright, so now your blank should look something like this. Get a better view. Something like that. Or it's a little bit more polished with the 100 grit belt. And now we're going to go even further to the T20 grit. So we're going to change this one out. And go ahead and put on the T20. This is my... Uh, finishing belt before I go to hand polishing. So this is going to be the final the final grit. And it's pretty worn down so it might even be like a 300 grit or maybe even a 400. So it's just going to give it a nice even cut line with a little bit of a polish. So here we go. See already it cleaned it up quite well. Got a nice sheen on there. Do it a couple more passes. Just make sure it doesn't get hot and keep dipping it in the water. Always wipe your excess water off of everything. You see that was after another pass and it cleaned up considerably. Alrighty, let's do a couple more. And now it should be ready for your hand polishing. Okay. I could show you how to do the other side, but it'd be exactly the same. So, uh, well, thanks for watching. This has been Whitebone Knives tutorial video.